Hey guys, welcome to the beginning of the Lin route. So, we did all of our legendary quests on the Anna route, so now we're going to play the game again, post-game again on Lin. Uh, I've already basically done, uh, there was a live stream, so I did everything up to uh, Radimus rap battle. So we're going to see uh, all of the Lin interactions instead, and we're going to see how this story... Uh, plays out because in this one Anna's kind of okay. She's just she's dream sick, but you know, she's not like In actual danger. Okay, so we're headed off to the uh, I've been working on epilogue chapter actually I could show that off uh, For those those who stick around in the live streams They actually know the most of the stuff I'm working on so here's the first thing I've made uh, I've made Jasper Hospital so now Eve has a uh Eve has a hospital to work in. That, that's literally what I did. Uh, this room, you can actually come in here and pet a shaman. Oh, that's right. I had to uh, get rid of all the NPCs when I was uh, transferring between versions. So then, there's the third floor. So I made this using a lot of Grand Dream City interior sprites. What the hell's the, uh... Oh, did I not finish making the room? I don't think I... Oh, no, I didn't finish this. Yep, I didn't finish that. Alright, well, that's the room we're gonna wake up in. Instead of, you know, waking up outside the train station. It was... Oh! It was Anna. Because that's what the Void, uh, that's what the Void spelt out. For those who don't know, when you get Void Kissed in Episode 18, uh... And you make it all the way to Luna. If you actually go back as far as you can uh, after Luna talks to you, it spells out uh, in Stardust that it was Anna. Is this the one for Zero Aura? No, it's uh, Zero Aura is uh, this cave, actually. Again.
I don't remember that dialogue in the uh, Anna path, so I wonder if this is Lynn talking or something. I'm assuming that's what it's what's going on. Oh no, it's the next one. And I'm pretty sure this is the last pillar. Uh, no thanks. I think she's getting mad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was a good encounter. I'm assuming if you try to release something, she'll stop you. <laughs> Okay, time to deal with the poachers. Alright, there's one up top at the temple right here. And then there's, uh, that one... What the? Okay, whatever. Alright, and then it's... it's up here. Here's Shannon!
All right, another quest down. Back to the nightclub. Okay, uh, let me see. What else is there? We got... What's down here? I don't remember what's down here. Is it... Is that Imperida? Oh, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's Hoopa. Alright, uh, that is, uh, I think that's Volcanion. That's a long one, which we will save for probably the next part. Yeah, we're gonna save the long ones. Oh, uh, okay, we can do that one, and then... Pretty sure that's, uh, Victini. So, we could probably... We should probably have time for Victini. And Volcanion, because Volcanion is straightforward. Literally. I just gotta get into a hole. This is also a really weak, uh... Anomaly fight. Okay, next up is, uh, oh no, wait, not Chorus Hall. Nope, we want beginning of Victory Road. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Hang on. So yeah, uh, for this one and the last uh, Victory Road one of these, you can actually skip it. Entirely by getting it wrong, uh, six times. Alright, now that we're in the new world, let's see if Lin has something for us here. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's right. These are new. This is to show that, uh, that the tower has spawned. So you don't have to go all the way back up there to check. It's very useful. Where the hell's my New World portal? Maybe I missed it. I think I missed it. There it is. All right, Lin, you want to screw with us some more?
Hmm. Okay, so that does lock that one, so I need to keep that unlocked. Isn't there, like, another switch, maybe, or something? Oh, no, this was it. way. Uh, is there anything else that isn't a very, very long quest? Because there's like three or four. Nope. Everything else is the long ones. They're also three of my favorite quests in the game. So, hmm. You know, it's been close to 30 minutes. So, you know, I'm going to end the episode here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Bianca's not here yet. Uh, she doesn't show up until after Latias quest. I programmed that in. <laughs> Hello, Elias. I look forward to our Celebi quest. And then, uh, what else? It's a, uh, oh yeah, we go on the train with Adrian f to play Imposter. And then, oh, the, that's right, Flora shows up. Oh, actually, wait. Uh, because I started the quest, uh, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't Amber and Tesla? Yep, they are down here. Hmm. All right. Well, I think that's going to be why I end this episode of uh, of the Lynn route. That was uh, pretty eventful. <laughs> so Lynn really tried to guilt trip us into uh, into releasing our Pokemon <laughs> right there. All right. Anyway. It is hot here. So that's going to be where I end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, uh, I've actually brought back uh, Early Access. Uh, the Nuzlocke episodes are actually going up now for our members of Early Access. So if you want to see those early, a couple days before anyone else, you can do so by hitting that join button down below, becoming a member of the channel for $1 a month. Thank you guys so much for all your support on all my other videos so far, and I hope to see you guys again next time.